All right, let's do the goat story now. Uh, city of Wichita is trying something new to clean up the thick brush and undergrowth along the area between Sim Park and the Arkansas River. It's a, a four legged uh, option known as skilled foragers. AKA goats, Jason Lamb here to tell us about the goats grazing in a city park. Jason? That's right, Jeff. You know, the city needs to clean up this sandy area along Riverside. It's a really tricky spot to get to. So machines, heavy machinery won't work. Okay. The Parks and Recreation Department decided to bring in a herd of goats to clear out the heavy bush, poison ivy, and low hanging branches. They arrived in a trailer, no doubt hungry and ready to eat. Yeah, this is definitely the most people I've had for a, a goat unload. Um, most of the times I'm in some random backyard in town or out on a property in the middle of nowhere. Release the goats and they're off, chowing down on poison ivy, bush honeysuckle, grass, branches, and so much more. And hopefully some people will uh, you know, learn a little bit about the ecology and the, the goats and the plants they're grazing and the effects that they have on the land because I uh, you know, I think it's important for people to know this is part of the world. We evolved with with animals grazing and uh, to me, it's just a shame that we only go towards our uh, sharp blades and chemicals now. And I think that this could be a lifesaver for a lot of people. Our crews have a lot of work to do, so this is just one less thing that they have to maintain. And again, like I said, these goats could get to places that our regular machines can't. So it's a lot easier for them than like to get a machine, clear all those things out. It's also very eco-friendly. Um, not as many emissions from a goat as uh, as a machine. And different uh, kinds of emissions. Different kinds of emissions, yeah. You know, really, it's like an all-you-can-eat situation for the goats. Yeah, I'd like it to be that way. That's why I put them into smaller areas instead of just fence the whole thing off, which would be a lot easier for me because whenever you put them into smaller groups, they have a higher sense of competition and um, you know, it just increases the amount of forage that they're going to eat. It increases the variety of plants they're going to eat and uh, I think they eat a little bit more. The goal for the goats is to clear a five acre area in the next two to two and a half weeks. Come out and check on them and make sure that they're all here. Nothing's gone crazy and and then see if they've got any food left. If not, then you move them on to the next patch. So there's a total of 130 goats that are grazing right now in that area around the river and Sim Park. Yep. The city's paying Restoration Grazing LLC a reported $5,000. The goat of Rex's goats. Let's see what it, you're doing there. Yeah, the goat, goat, greatest of all time, is Miss Dolly and Darn it, she wasn't there earlier. And I'm really disappointed I couldn't watch her mow down some poison ivy. Sorry about that. That was one of the finest goat stories that I've seen, which makes Lamb the goat of goat stories. Thank in you. In my book. Thank you. I want to do yeah. more. Okay. We'll find a way to make that happen. Jason, thank you. We'll be right back.